Good afternoon, Pastor David. Hi, John. Welcome, everybody, to A Random Moment with Pastor David Unfiltered. You know, Pastor, I was able to see your notes for tomorrow's Wednesday night uh, service, and, and I was looking through it, and it's really interesting how you'll be speaking on the helmet of salvation, which is a piece of the armor that you've been taking us through as we've been studying the armor of God in Ephesians chapter 6. And uh, I started thinking about the name Helmet of Salvation and wondering why it wasn't uh, the breastplate of salvation or the shield of salvation. Why did Paul particularly use the helmet to describe salvation? You know, one of the things the, that our flesh conspires with the enemy about is how we how we have received salvation what salvation means and, um, and things that pertain to the mind is our thoughts and intentions and motives and all that's hidden within us and so with the helmet of salvation it's speaking about guarding your mind it, it's a picture of, of of taking care of your head um, and and so the soldier would wear a helmet that could be made out of leather and 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 some metal, because uh, in actual combat, you know, the enemy would not only go after your vital organs in terms of your heart, your kidneys, and 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 all of that, but he wanted to take your head off, and and so you had to guard your head in battle, and so the picture that we have in uh, the helmet of salvation is the understanding that you are saved, you know, and the thoughts that pertain to that. And um, the things that go into your mind that ultimately find uh, expression in the way that you act. And so when you're in spiritual warfare, one of the things that the enemy does is he calls into question or causes you to uh, begin to call into question your own salvation, where you stand with God, whether your sins have been truly forgiven, whether you're you know, are you capable of qualified to? Are you good enough, you know, to present the gospel and things of that nature? So he bombards us with, uh, with doubt mm -hmm. and confusion and, and he's attempting to wound us. And so the picture of uh, the helmet of salvation is a picture of guarding your thoughts, guarding your mind, guarding the things that, that, uh, that go into it. and and uh, and from the mind the things that you begin to learn to do I, i'm thinking of just today how many times i've changed my mind <laughs> and a lot of things which also causes indecisiveness and in a lot of things and the enemy i was just speaking with a brother this morning how the enemy attacks the mind to allow us to think something that's not there or to doubt god's word mm -hmm. and how everything because once a soldier is hit in the head that's a fatal blow mm -hmm. uh, and i like how you illustrated the the three weapons that we're speaking of are more of the offensive weapons like we have you talked about the shield of faith the helmet of salvation and now the sword of the spirit will be mm -hmm. coming up soon and so how important pastor is it to daily put on that helmet? well that's the whole point right i mean what do you do to cleanse your mind what mm -hmm. do you do to change your mind you know what do you do to form the way that you are or how you think it it's very important you, you you're to don it uh, for individual and particular battles. Uh, the first three articles of weaponry that we have, we, we sink into and we're wearing constantly. But the next uh, that he begins to speak about are things that we use for particular combat or particular fights and stuff. It's like uh, when a boxer is gonna go out and they have to tape their hands mm -hmm. and they put on the gloves. They're preparing for that particular uh, moment of combat and so for us, we're supposed to be um, ready at any time, prepared at any time. And the way that we are prepared is by spending time in, in the Word of God, spending time in the very basic things that, that help us uh, to be overcomers. You know, number one thing is, is the Word, uh, along with that is, is prayer. Those are two basic things that we do, but with the, uh, also an awareness that we, uh, we have brothers and sisters that can be sources of inspiration and encouragement, but we're to be always prepared because the enemy is constantly bombarding us with images and things. I mean, you know, they, they've, um, here in California, uh, there have been uh, um, ordinances and things passed so that there's a restriction on the amount of commercials that you'll see on billboards and mm -hmm. things, for example, because 
when you're driving down a freeway, there would be billboard after billboard mm-hmm. after billboard or, you know, sign after sign after sign. And that's bombarding you like, oh, look at this, this particular drink or this particular mm-hmm. place to gamble or this particular place to, uh, to, to see, you know, a certain kind of show or what. I mean, you see that. Those are the things that come in the eye gate constantly, right. constantly. And, and y- 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 you know, you have your ear, you know, you hear things, you know. So your eyes, you he- you're hearing, they're constantly absorbing and being influenced by whatever you see, whatever you're looking at, or whatever you take time to meditate on. Mm-hmm. All of that is influencing you. And so how do you guard your mind? Well, you guard your mind with the Word of God. You guard your mind by being aware of those things that are around you, by remembering those things that have stumbled you, and um, you know, simply being aware of the fact that, that the, enemy, it, the enemy does want to take you down. You know, it's not as if we're paranoids and we make up, a, you know, oh, there's a devil in every doorknob, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> it's simply being aware that the subtlety and devices of the enemy are so um, well thought out and well planned out that you need to be aware of your own weaknesses and you need to be aware of who God is. And so in wearing your helmet, you're, you're aware. You're aware of, I've been born again. You're aware of, I have a, a, a newness of life. Uh, I have the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, I am capable of uh, resisting the devil, for the word tells me he will flee from me. I can I can engage in which I have to regardless of whether I want to. I can engage in spiritual warfare. Comes in various ways, comes from different directions, but I can be victorious because in Christ uh, He never loses, and in Christ uh, I am victorious. And and I'll, we'll look at that in some yes. detail tomorrow. And I want to invite you guys to come out and join us uh, Wednesday night at 7 p.m. We have a great time in worship. And then uh, we have a time in God's Word. Matter of fact, tomorrow our Kentucky team is going to come up and share just a little bit about the blessing it was going out there and doing some relief Mm -hmm. work. So we do want to invite you guys to come out and join us uh, Wednesday night at 7 p.m. COVID restrictions have lifted, Mm -hmm. have been lifted. Come join us and come to the house of God and worship with us. Then we do have our services on Sunday at uh, 8.30 and 10.45. And uh, men, you can get your tickets for the men's gathering in November. You can actually get tickets now. And... You know, we were just talking about Israel, and uh, I've been thinking about it ever since. And if you guys ever had the opportunity to come to Israel, I mean, I'm seeing those pictures up there, Pastor, in Gedi, Temple Mount, the tomb. Uh, if you guys ever have the opportunity to come, uh, this is the time to come join the I church family. So. And, uh, and come in, as you and Marie invite the church family to come out and join us, you can actually go to our website to register. Pastor David, thank you so much. Thank you guys for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. for our midweek service Wednesday. And God bless you guys. And Pastor David, thank you and God bless you. Of course.